Hi, my name is Marcia Zimmerman, and I am the patient advocate for the AMDA. I've been working with the AMDA since 2003, so that's a lot of years. Anyway, I have a lot of information. So let me tell you just a little bit for those who don't know me. Um, I was a research nurse for metabolic uh, clinic at University of Texas Health Science Center in 2001 we got Tiffany House as a research patient and she was on the transgenic rabbit's milk version of the enzyme replacement therapy. And to be honest, I had never heard of Pompe disease before I met Tiffany. And at that time it was a weekly treatment. So over the next several years, um, I watched Tiffany move from the transgenic to two or three different versions of the ERT. Um, and I think she was the first person, I think, on uh, myozyme uh, when it went into clinical trial. So anyway, I've been with this community for a long time and why do I stay? I stay because I love everybody I've met. 95% of my friends at this point have been diagnosed with Pompe disease. And before COVID, we used to love to meet up with each other at, at conferences uh, where we networked with uh, all the biotech people. Um, it was just a ton of fun and the zest for living um, that the community as a whole has is so motivating. Um, I don't know anyone in my family does not have Pompe disease. The only people I know that have Pompe disease are you guys. Um, and another reason why I stay is I find that I'm very, very good at problem solving and I truly love to help solve problems for, I'll, I'll solve problems for anybody. Um, but I, I specialize in people diagnosed with Pompe disease. So to keep this short, um, I look forward to when we can all start going to conferences in person so we can meet up. And for those I've known since 2003, um, George, you know, Jared, Brian White, um, Alicia Blackington, bless her heart's gone. Um, but these are the, the first gang that I so look forward to running into um, at each conference. So anyway, email me if you have any issues and I'd be happy to help. So she was saying that her name is Morgan and she does what she does because she's incredibly passionate about the Pompeii community. Um, she said that um, it's all she really knows because um, she was diagnosed at a very, very early age. Um, so the people that she's gotten to know or um, her life, um, literally that. She um, works for AMDA and specifically um, does the Facebook account, right? And what else? That's about what she said. Did you want to add anything? Hi, my name is Tiffany House and I'm the president of the Acid Maltase Deficiency Association. Okay. We're a patient support organization in the United States that was founded in 1995. Um, I'm very passionate about working with the AMDA because like Morgan said, it's my life. Um, I've been doing this since I was 12 years old and I'm not gonna get him now, but uh, I gained a lot of strength from my fellow Pompeii patients in the community and not just the patients, but their families and the scientists and the doctors that have devoted their lives to Pompeii. We're an incredibly strong community and we've already last 25 years 
how many amazing things we can do when we work together. And I'm excited to see what the future brings. Happy International Pompeii Day. <laughs>